What's going on internet? Sean here, Mahalo.com. And we've been breaking down and simplifying our motherboard. And in this step, there's a little tiny circle disc you guys are wondering about on the motherboard. That simply is the battery. You might be asking yourself, why do I need a battery on my computer when I plug it into the wall? Well, the battery simply keeps some of your settings stored and saved. So, like for instance, we have our BIOS chip we talked about earlier. Let's point to this guy here. And the battery simply saves a lot of the information from the BIOS. So, like for instance, if you keep turning on your computer and you have to turn and reset the time every time you start your computer, there's a really good chance that this battery right here is dead. Now, it's a real simple battery. It's about 10 bucks at Radio Shack. It's a CR2032. And this thing also stores information like, so let's say for instance, you have a BIOS password blocking anybody from accessing your computer, even powering it on and getting to Windows. That's blocked because you have a password on your BIOS. You can get past that <laughs> simply by removing your battery right here, leaving it unplugged for about, I'd say anywhere from 20 minutes to 45 minutes. And then that password will be reset on your BIOS and anybody can jump in. So if you really want to stay cautious of that, two things you want to do. One of those, um, make sure you have a good, make sure that battery is good. And then step two, you want to make sure your case is locked so nobody can pop out that battery. And if you had to pop out the battery, simply, so you got these two teeth, there are one teeth, and you just simply pop that off one side. Like, if you had a flathead screwdriver, you just wanna push up against that. This little disc, it'll pop right out. And you always want the writing on the upside for these guys, because that's how they're all plugged in. There you go, that's what that little funny little disc is there on the mud ward. Simply a battery to store information for that guy. It's that easy, guys. All right, now remember, just click on one of the items on the motherboard to learn more information about that item. And like always, guys, if you have a request from me, just send it on over to requests at mahalo.com.